Uh, welcome to this video. This is a special video because it's basically a follow-up to my last video where I was talking about the director's mode of Xiaomi. This is now Huawei's solution and this solution is a little bit more advanced because I'm recording now with the Mate 50 Pro. I have my control monitor here which is the Huawei MatePad 11 and I can switch to the Huawei P50 Pocket uh, or the P50 Pro that I have here and the Mate 60 Pro that I have by just using the control monitor here on my uh, MatePad 11. And this simply during recording because it has the ability to select a very different camera. So I can switch, for example, to the uh, P50 Pro. And all this during recording, which is quite nice. So I have a record button. I have the possibility even to zoom in. Now you can see my pants. <laughs> uh, I cannot zoom out for some reason, but you see here my laptop or my laptop, my tablet. You see the Mate 50 uh, Pro as well. And if I want to show you a total view, I can also click on select camera and choose the Mate 60 Pro's. And here you see the rear camera. What I wanted to say, you can also switch to the front camera if you want to, which is also possible. So here you can see my setup, the Mate 50 Pro, the P uh, 50 Pro and the MatePad 11. The only difficulty that I encountered is that switching between those is a bit of long. So it cannot be really used for studio work when you're recording because if I switch here, it will take a long time to connect to one of the other devices. And then of course I have to stop for a few seconds, like 30 seconds or so uh, with me talking, which is a bit of an annoyance. But the idea is very very groundbreaking already the only thing they have to do is like maybe manage it that this device can connect to three devices at once and stay connected to them so switching to another lens might be much much easier so let's go to the rear camera of the mate 50 pro and here we have now the Mate 50 Pro's rear camera. So you can see it is a very, very advanced system. And I can also, yeah, what can I do? Uh, can I show it to you? Basically what you have is the possibility select the, uh, you can select the, um, oh, wait a second, maybe I'll do it in a different way. So let's come with me. I take you with me. It's still recording there and still connected to there. I have a selfie stick there. I just take my Mate, 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 Mate X3 that is charging here right now. Hopefully, of course, it's charged already fully, as you see. And what I can do is like go back to my setup here and uh, just try to switch to the Mate X3 where I can show you a little bit more about this. So I have it positioned roughly there like it was before. So I just unlock this one here and I choose now here, select camera, the Mate X3, so I can show you how it works. So choose, and then I can choose a Mate X3 uh, rear camera. And there you can see the Mate X3's rear camera and you can see the infinite loop. Anyway, what we have here is select camera. This is where I can select all the cameras that I want, want to have. As you can see here, the Mate 50 Pro rear, um, and front camera, Mate 60, Mate X3 that I'm using here right now, the P50, and even my P50 Pocket front and rear because it's running eMotion UI uh, 14, point, uh, 14, actually, which is actually Harmony S4. So this is all running Harmony S4.2 here that I have uh, besides this tablet, which is Harmony S3, but you can see it is running nicely also in between eMUI and Harmony OS version. So this is why I can choose. And if I choose another one, you have to wait a little bit of a second, uh, of a few seconds there. You can cancel out there. Uh, see, I'm recording here. I have the button to record and stop recording. Can also do the front facing camera of my Mate X3, which is quite back to the rear facing camera. So this is also a possibility I have here. And I can choose the various different zoom levels here as well if I, I want to do this. So you can see this is a very, very powerful way of doing this. Let's go and switch back to the Mate 50 Pro rear. And there we have the Mate 50 Pro rear. And you can see this one worked a little bit faster now in terms of switching. You can see this is a very, very powerful tool, especially if you want to do 
self-filming, self-logging with various different cameras and with all my Huawei devices that I have, and I have so many Huawei devices that are running Harmony OS or Emotion UI, I have the possibility to do really a multi-cam, multi-studio setup. I, I, actually, I could have like put another camera there maybe in my other room and then when I want, wanted to grab the Mate X3, I could like just have this uh, turned on there which is, it's a fantastic kind of way. The only difficulty, like I said, is sometimes it takes a long time to switch between the devices and other times it's just like fail to switch. And if it fails to switch to the device, the recording stops and you have to do it again, which is a bit of an annoyance. But it worked this time, which is quite nice. So what do you think about this Huawei feature of doing things? And by the way, this one here is recording only 1080p. I don't think it's recording 4K at all. So it is a bit of a limitation that you have with this kind of setup. But still, it is pretty awesome. With all your Huawei devices, you have the possibility to create your own little studio. And yeah, I think I already showed it once or twice, but now I'm more convinced if maybe it might more sense to use it somehow as well for like a studio setup at one point here because like so lightweight you don't have the real camera the only difficulty might be like sometimes it like aborts the connection and this is a bit of annoying anyway what do you think about this multi-camera setup how it's called here under harmony os or emotion ui uh, from Huawei. I think it's a pretty useful and uh, usable kind of way of uh, having a multi-cam setup. What do you think about it? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye. And what I almost forgot telling you, and now I'm using the tablet's camera, so this might be a bit wrong here, looking a bit weird looking. This microphone is the one that I used attached to my control monitor, which is my tablet. So all the other video feeds are coming in, but the audio feed is going through the tablet and the wireless mic attached to it, which is also very, very cool because then you have one good audio source and everything else is syncing up. So you don't have to attach this microphone to everyone else's uh, or you don't have to like in post uh, trying to get the audio right, which is also a downside that I had on the Xiaomi that Huawei doesn't have here. So this one just as a bonus here at the end of this video. So what do you think about this one? It's pretty, pretty cool. I just hope that Huawei can maybe improve it a little bit, especially the connection with various different devices, maybe have them connected all the time, like free devices at least, so you can switch more easily between them. Just like this. So now Mate 60 Pro, for example, and uh, switching again, you can see switching to Mate Mate 50 Pro rear working fine as well. It's a bit of a delay still. So if it would be connected to something, it would be or always. If it would be connected to something or always connected to something, this would be a little bit better. Uh, otherwise, it might abort certain times there. So yeah, I really, really like this uh, kind of thing here. Let's go to the Mate 50 Pro back. A very, very cool feature indeed. Uh, this um, multicam setup.